Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another Bombshell Tarot reading. Yeah, I hope you guys are well. And uh, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Anybody who resonates with it. So, yeah, today is the Aries full moon. And for you guys, Capricorn, could really be affecting you uh, in your daily routine, your daily life, your health, or your work. Uh, that's the, the sixth house is ruled by Virgo. Um, yeah, and so, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, honestly, you're, it will be affecting you in, in Virgo. Yeah, so very interesting. Uh, that will be, you know, that's your, your sixth house. Uh, uh, the Aries, sorry, yeah, the Aries full moon will be, will be affecting you, uh, in your, sixth house yes so we have capricorn aquarius pisces in your fourth house capricorn aquarius pisces and then we have um aries i beg your pardon in your fourth house so sorry about that and uh yeah and so uh in your fourth house the aries uh full moon is going to be about your emotional structure your uh your family your emotions uh, it may be uh, definitely it is a moon too but it could be about your family uh it could be about your mom but you could be kind of uh or your uh, support system so you, maybe you are kind of uh thinking all about that and aries is really about having courage uh and having something new that's really what it's about so let's see what we have it's also about the self we have the joker and we have also the uh the pennies the lucky pennies here um, and, uh, this is something very, uh, it can be money Capricorn, but it's something very lucky. That's what it's about. The Joker though is the black cat is, uh, interesting. That one hardly ever comes out. This is about somebody who might be very jealous of you. It could be, uh, none of the Jokers are good in this, uh, reading, no, in this deck. And so, uh, somebody might not want, like somebody could be jealous here that you're, you're lucky in some way. Yeah. Uh, we also have the ace of wands here and this is the dove and this is uh this is about love and the dove is about somebody who wants to protect like a love relationship like they want to protect it to at all costs or like move out of the way uh i'm gonna have a capricorn or you know um i want this maybe this is you doing this i want this definitely uh capricorn yeah so let's see what else we have for capricorn sun moon rising and venus and anybody who resonates with it, we have Dreaming Johnny reversed. So what's going on here is Dreaming Johnny is dreaming all about a new beginning. He's going to fall in the water. His head's in the sky. He's kind of like the fool. Uh, and he's looking at the butterflies. And uh, it is about a decision because we see the Gemini glyph here. Uh, Aquarius is about the future. Here's the Aquarius glyph. Uh, yeah. And so, you know... And here's the Aries right here. This is the Aries glyph. This is definitely about taking a leap of faith. And he wants to do that. Here is Taurus right here. And so Venus writes about love. But in the reverse, somebody already, somebody's done dreaming about it. And they want to, this to have this now. That's what that's about. They're done dreaming about it. Yes, they are. So let's see what else we have for. And we have, sorry, you guys. We have the Ice Queen right here. So let's move the camera up just a little bit here and you can see these cards. Uh, the Ice Queen. Oh, that's not the Ice Queen. I beg your pardon. That is the angel. So the angel is about wisdom and she is spreading truth and healing. And uh, this is Pisces. Pisces uh, is about healing as well. For sure it is. It can be about hospitals and can be about spiritual healing as well. For sure. Uh, intuitive healing as well. And so down here is Neptune. So this is all about feelings and emotions and trusting your intuition uh because that's what she's there for she's there to bring the truth like trust the in, trust your intuition as to who you really are yeah mm -hmm. very cool and uh there could be an ending here of sorts uh there could it could just be that somebody's done dreaming about this and they're coming to protect this capricorn so let's see what we have uh for you guys oh capricorn yeah, let's see what we have. Yeah, and uh, where are these cards at? Let's see what we got. Two of Swords reversed. 
Knight of King of Swords. I beg your pardon. We're going to move these up now. Something good is going on here, Capricorn. Interesting how this card here. Somebody's jealous of you. They are. Right? And I'm not sure who that may be, of course. Um, yeah, you're going to be lucky in love. That's what this is about. Wow. And we have the Six of Wands reversed. Three of Wands. We're going to move the card uh, camera back down. Four of Cups here. And we have the uh, Four of Wands reversed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something goes away here. There's some Something is like destabilized. In other words, uh, kind of something that might have been maybe stable at some point is four of wands reversed it's not so anymore because this is about the future the three of wands we saw the aquarian glyph over here uh with uh where is it here uh did i have it at the bottom of the deck i forgot where i have that now here it is i beg your pardon it's on dreaming johnny so here it is about the future here's gemini about decisions thoughts and plans for the future that's what Gemini represents, the third house of communications and, uh, you know, many other things. But uh, in the context of this reading, it is about that. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. and so two of swords reversed uh, with the king of swords. So this is like I've already made up my mind here. I'm no longer at a stalemate, especially with Dreaming Johnny reversed. Two of swords uh, reversed. King of swords is here. This is the decision. I'm acting on this. I'm no longer uh, maybe stuck or confused or, yeah, this is uh, very good here. And this is about some something new that's going to happen for you. You're going to be lucky. It's Maybe it's in money, but it looks like it's love to me with Dreaming Johnny. Do you know, Dreaming Johnny could also be dreaming of, it's possible he's dreaming of uh, just his future and maybe, maybe something career-based. Uh, and maybe that is uh, kind of, uh, you know, supporting your emotional, uh, because your, your full moon, Aries full moon will be affecting you in the fourth house. Yeah. And so 10 of pentacles in the reading and the seven of swords reversed. All right. So the Joker is here in the reading and, uh, this can be, somebody feels guilty because they were a real fool. Maybe they lied to you here, but seven of swords reversed. Uh, there's, there could be guilt in this reading. There could, uh, but it's not about guilt. It's about somebody who is the, the, the main, we don't want to get off the topic here, right? Yeah. The, you know, the main topic is that somebody's accepting the truth here. Yeah. I saw somebody the other day talk about something that was so unimportant and they were being asked a very important question and, uh, yeah, it was sad. Yeah. It happened. It was, it was about the people in, yeah, I don't even want to say what it's about, but it was really sad how, uh, how the, you know, the person who was being, uh, interviewed, uh, basically not the person being interviewed, the person who was doing the interview. She, she, yeah, she had no, she didn't care at all that people were harmed. She was too busy asking these questions that were like, wow, dude, don't you have any heart? Right? Yeah, it was awful. But, uh, getting back to this, <laughs> uh, this is about the truth. It's about wisdom and the truth, accepting it. Yes. And, uh, this is about something important. It's not about let me dwell in the past and I feel guilty and bad or blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Uh, Dreaming Johnny is about the future, as is this three of wands. Yeah, it's very beautiful, this reading, in fact. And so uh, this is about something very favorable that will be protected with the dove. Yeah, anybody who shoots a dove in the Appalachia, uh, they get, you know, I don't know, five bullets back. I'm not sure, but they, uh, they go to jail. Yeah, they do. Uh, which is, that's very beautiful that they are protecting doves, right? King of swords here. I don't know why you'd want to shoot a dove anyway, right? It's not like you're having chicken, uh, which is another subject, right? King of swords. Here's the decision, but let's get a card on the overall. We have the emperor. Yeah, this is taking control. See, this is not dwelling on the past, but taking control and Capricorn, uh, in the past here of six of wands, reverse nine of pentacles reversed. So this is what's helping you up here. This is kind of what's supporting you here. Uh, this six of wands reversed, nine of pentacles. This can be that something else is not being overcome. In other words, dreaming Johnny knows what he wants and he doesn't care. He really doesn't care what happens. Like, I don't care if I let something go. 
uh, I don't care if people don't like it, etc. Because he's getting ready to fall in the water. That's how important this is. He's like the fool. I'm just going to go for this. So this is helping you that something else is not being overcome. Uh, definitely. It, it can be helping you that somebody or you have recognized like what's not important here. Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's about values. It's also about, it can be about being single or self-sufficient. This can be about money too. Like where maybe, uh, maybe it could be, maybe you or your person, but thought that kind of victory and money was so important here and recognition. This is somebody who realizes that love is more important. Yeah, that's what this reading's about. Uh, we have the four of wands rever uh, in the uh, uh, in the upright in the past, and it sits here with the fool reversed. So we got a lot of reversals in this reading, and this is in the past. This is I'm giving something away, and I want it to end. The fool reversed, or maybe I'm not going to behave like a fool anymore, right? And uh, it can be I'm bored with that behavior. This could be your person, Capricorn. I'm, I'm over that. It, there's some, some type of maturity here as well. There is. Three of Wands coming into play. This is looking out at your ships coming uh, coming into the future or coming into like play for you. And we'll get a card on that. And let's get a card right here. And we have the Three of Cups reversed. Wow. And so, you know, these are two threes. Some type of third party ends. Even if it's psychological only. Uh, some type of and let's get one of these cards. And we have Palace. This is about uh, wisdom, skill, and self-defense. So we have wisdom because of the angel. Wisdom and the truth. The truth is always brings wisdom. Even if it comes and kicks us in the ass and we have to accept the truth, it brings wisdom, right? If you go, if you speak the truth, you will, uh, you will, you know, you will basically uh, live with more wisdom in your own life, but uh, things will, you know, you're going to manifest or you're going to attract things, I should say, uh, that are uh, that are like noble and, you know, with truth and wisdom. You're going to attract that as well, right? Self-defense, wisdom and skill. Let's get a card here. Uh, and we have another card. And we have, uh, this is the Midheaven, and this is about... Uh, direction, reputations, career and status, things like that. Uh, and so somebody's in a new direction here. Yeah, the, because this is direction like achievement. What do I want? The Capricorn, this is you rule the midheaven. You do the 10th house. And here we have uh, wisdom and we have a new direction. Yeah, see somebody, that's, I said, there's a maturity in this reading. And so, and somebody got off their little dreaming. They're like, well, I can't dream forever. I want this to take place. Four of Wands reversed. Something here is, uh, I don't know, rejected or uh, something. And the star for something that has more hope and inspiration. That's what that's about. And we have here how you're being affected, Capricorn, is this Five of Wands reversed, right? And the Five of Wands reversed is... Uh, challenges that are being kind of withdrawn or done away with or something like that. Yeah. And so uh, let's get a card on the five of wands reversed. Oops. And we have this card nine of cups reversed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, there's something I don't want anymore. The nine of cups reversed. It could have been that something was blocking this really good luck or this favorable event that is happening for you. Yeah. With the, the clover and the pennies. So now we have the King of Cups reversed. This is, uh, this is in your environment, or this is how you are affecting somebody. The King of Cups reversed, Capricorn. Uh, mm -hmm. And we have with it the Tower reversed. Well, we just have way too many uh, reversals today, but hey, this is for a reason. It is the full moon today. Uh, and here we have the Tower reversed. This is kind of like rebuilding. This is, uh, this is like, I, I, I had to awaken a really hard way, something like that. I had to learn a major truth. Uh, yeah. And so the King of Cups reverse could be in love. Definitely. And I had to learn it. Maybe I was hurt. This can be like, you were kind of hurt. Uh, somebody could have been hurt here. We have the nine of wands. Yeah. The nine of wands can be somebody who's hurt, uh, but they are still resilient. Yeah, that's what's going on. The hopes and fears is the Ten of Pentacles. And uh, let me have this family. Let me have this 
Uh, this can be about legacy and look like reputation. Let me have, it can be about career and status. It can, it's usually about family and, uh, some type of, um, completion. Yeah. We have judgment with it. Wow. This is definitely an ending here. Judgment in the reversed, in the reverse. This is hopes and fears. Uh, maybe somebody wants, uh, you to accept their apology, Capricorn. Uh, wow. And so there's, there's a difficult transformation in this reading. That's why we have judgment and the tower both reversed a difficult transformation. And, you know, we start the reading with the two of swords reversed. We already know there was something difficult here, right? Uh, maybe a long time of kind of, you know, being really stuck or not understanding and things like two of swords can be, I really don't understand. I mean, she doesn't understand. She can't even, you know, uncross her arms and take her blindfold off, right? She thinks she's, uh, in her mind, she thinks she's completely chained to this this chair. It's not a chair, but like this kind of, this pillar. And she is not clearly, right? The Joker starts the reading over here. Somebody was like, it's just somebody here, Capricorn. I don't believe this is you. I feel like this is somebody who probably learned, maybe they were a Joker, they could have definitely been, but this, as I said, this is about learning truths and something very beautiful. And, uh, yeah, 10 of pentacles, judgment reversed. Mm -hmm. This is in the hopes and fears. Somebody could really be hoping to maybe have a family with you here. Uh, they could really be hoping you're going to give them, uh, you're going to grant them, uh, maybe an apology or not you grant them, but maybe you will forgive them. There's something going on right here with this judgment reversed. Yeah. And you know, this could be too, they could be coming to tell you something and it's difficult to say it. Judgment can be, you know, he's, he's coming to declare rebirth for these people. Wake up. I'm, you know, I'm freeing you. So, uh, you know, somebody could be kind of fearing here in this reading that they will not be freed. In other words, possible that you might, I don't know, Capricorn, you might say go away or something like that here, right? Especially when we have guilt here, seven of swords reversed. Yeah. And let's get a card on that. And we have it with the sun. Yeah. You know, this is about happiness and success. It is definitely it is, but it's about major clarity. We have the angel, which is truth and wisdom. We had another card, which was about wisdom. So this is like, I have, I'm, I'm, you know, major clarity here. Uh, and this is also about a plan. I've already done, I've already, I'm like, somebody here is planning to speak to you, I believe. And in this reading, this person who wants to talk to you <coughs> is like done thinking about it. They're super clear. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what really what this reading is about. Uh, and it shows that maybe they were in reflection for quite a, t quite a time quite a bit of time. So we're going to end this reading Capricorn. If you'd like your own reading, I have psychic readings now for $50. Yes, I do. Uh, those are going to be 20 minute readings and I will post them, uh, and, uh, change, you know, change the price, uh, for now, of course, on the calendar. Yeah. And 20 minutes is enough really to find out about, uh, right. It is to get a, a definite idea of somebody's energy or, you know, or, you know, maybe your own, uh, not maybe, but about you too. 20 minutes is enough, right? So I offer the other, the longer ones, um, uh, because, you know, it's nice to kind of chat and, you know, and then we can do the tarot and things like that. But, uh, if you want to get a psychic reading 50, uh, 20 minutes is quite enough. So yeah, this is going to be $50. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I will link the calendar below. If you'd like to book that lots of fun, we do them over a video call or a phone or a phone, uh, or a phone call, but there's not going to be a lot of back and forth with that. Uh, so if you book the reading, um, I will put the, uh, the pay, the payment links below in the description box. So just please make the payment and book it there, uh, because of the promotional price and, you know, admin, uh, it can really add up admin time, right? Yeah. Thanks so much. You guys, please remember to like, share and subscribe, hit the little bell in order to receive all my notifications.